What about countries? Are there any restrictions on countries that we deal with? And how does that work? Sure. So there definitely will be. And some of these countries would either have very heavy sanctions or have something in the form of AML. So the FATF issues this grey list, which we mentioned. Um, they actually also have blacklist. So, for example, there's North Korea and Iran that would fall into those um, lists, which again are heavily sanctioned. So it's really difficult for us to be enabling payments when there are either uh, sanctions against individuals in those countries or banks or institutions. And how often do these kind of lists, I guess they're lists, right? How often do they change? Very regularly. So just the UAE, for example, coming off the grey list was really positive. Um, the FATF is having regular meetings and risk assessments for each country. So depending on the action plan they have with a particular country, a country could come off it in the space of months or it could take years. It really depends on the government and how quick they are to respond and take action. And the UAE was particularly quick with this, which I think is really positive for us and positive for MAMO being in the UAE.